and welcome to the UT Gardens in the 2024 Swing into Spring Garden Gala. My husband, Ivan Belts, Buzz, and I are very happy to have you here. My husband and I love to come to the garden and just walk through it. Truthfully, every time you come, you see something different. It is kind of, to me, like the center of the community where nice things can happen. It's been a busy year here at the UT Gardens. We finished our student-led rain garden that diverts parking lot water through the garden, slows it down and captures it before it runs into the Tennessee River. We've also been dealing with some infrastructure issues that we've had, primarily drainage. We have created check dams that help slow the water down and then lets it seep into the ground and become beneficial. We have continued our sustainable initiatives of converting most of our gas-powered equipment into electric clean energy battery-powered equipment. So we have a new riding lawnmower, a push mower. We have an automated mower named Sparky that drives around and mows without any help from anybody. Then he takes himself back to his little house, which is solar powered, and then his battery is recharged off the grid. And he doesn't complain and he does a very fine job. So we're really excited about the new kitchen garden renovation. We were able to replace all of the rotten wooden bed edges with this locally manufactured stone block. So the new beds are more durable. They're gonna last much longer. They are safer and it's just so wonderful to see this really important part of the garden be preserved for future generations. We are excited to honor Dr. Mark Wyndham this year as our horticultural legacy honoree. He has been so instrumental in moving the ornamental horticulture industry forward with his discoveries and his research into the plant pathology of dogwood diseases, rose diseases, hydrangeas, you name it. If it's got a bloom on it and it's not doing well, Mark wants to know what the problem is and how it can be fixed. Mark was instrumental in saving Cornus Florida, which is the flowering dogwood. The two main diseases that affect dogwood are powdery mildew and dogwood anthracnose. Mark is a classical plant pathologist and, and he knows where to look for resistance. You look right in the heart of the epidemic and that's exactly what he did. Um, Appalachian Spring, which is resistance to dogwood uh, anthracnose, was found in Catoctin National Forest. He walked all over Catoctin National Forest and found one tree that was still living from that epidemic. Did a similar thing, the nurserymen would abandon these seedling fields because they're all contaminated with powdery mildew. But he went in with his kids and they looked for seedlings that did not have powdery mildew. And we tested them and they were powdery mildew resistant. So we released four or five from that one field. Certainly respect all of his contributions. You know, he's, he's a giant in dogwoods. Oh my goodness, Mark has been so instrumental in the growing, uh, the knowledge of what makes a rose pretty and healthy. And his research has helped tremendously with diseases and pests and how to take care of them. Primarily, Dr. Wyndham's research has been on rose rosette, which in the last say 10 years has become prevalent and he's so perfect because he's not the only researcher that's in his program but he is the speaker he is the one to carry that knowledge that they have learned throughout the world he has such a wonderful way of commanding attention and holding the audience and making them sit forward and be interested in what he's saying and then when he's finished with his talk or presentation they're disappointed they want more <laughs>